have no interest whatsoever in being the same guy I was when I was 40. Constant and never-ending improvement is what Tony Robbins taught me when I was young. Can I? Constantly improving, constantly getting better. I'm addicted and love meeting the new me all the time. I don't always like him, but I like, I, I like meeting him. So I want you to get addicted to being the next version of you. You get to rewrite the script of your life anytime you want, man. Honestly, anytime you want. And very quickly, ladies, they forget your old character when you start acting like the next one. Now, immediately they hate on you. Oh, she's Miss Businesswoman now. She's Miss Self-Confidence. Look at her with her makeup on. Look at her, whatever. Let them talk about that. And as you start to win, they're like, look at her. <laughs> look at her. Because that's what happens to me now. It used to be, look at him. Now it's like, damn. Look at this dude's life. I have people finding me on social media from high school and college like, dude, what the hell? This is crazy. Right? I'm like, isn't it? It's awesome. I saw yours. You're still freaking talking about high school football, man. What's your new story? Not your old story. What's the new story? And that includes me. If you notice today, I've said almost nothing about my previous existence in WFG. I tell those stories, they're funny, but every once in a while, I just want to talk about the new story, man. I want to talk about where we're going, the future, right? I want you to be talking about that. So I want, you to, I want to challenge you to be that way. So how do we win? How do we change our life? How do we improve it? I've showed you this video before, and I picked it just for this team. Okay, I want you to learn something about helping people that maybe you don't know. Here's what every human being you meet wants. Everyone you meet wants. You ready? Even me. Even me. Okay? Even Tom Brady. Even Andy Frisella. How come we connected so good? Why, why are we like buddies? No. Only met him for one day. How are we glued together? I should show you my text from him last night. I got a lifelong brother. Do you know that the first minute, the first hour I met Grant Cardone, he goes, you're my best friend. <laughs> his wife told me the next day, you're his best friend. You're going to be his best friend the rest of his life. That was within the first hour I met the man. Priscilla texted me last night. He goes, I made a lifelong brother, man. Right? How, how does that happen? Right? Here's what I know. I don't care how buff you are, how studly you are, how broke you are, how black, white, Asian, Christian, Muslim, Jew, agnostic, atheist, doesn't matter, okay? Check this out. Everybody wants you to love them, care about them, believe them, and help them. Love, care, believe, help. I'm giving you gold here. Love, kick Tony Robbins. Love me, man. Care about me, man. Believe in me, man. Help me, man. That's what he wants. Adam Levine. Love me, care about me, believe. When I meet these dudes, I don't care who they are. When I meet you, you're a human being. And you know what you want? Love me, care about me, believe in me, and help me. I say that tape to myself all the freaking time when I meet people. Okay? That's what they want from you. Help me, help me, help me. I'm going to show you a video about a runner. Her name's Kayla Montgomery. Many of you have seen it. I want you to watch the video differently this time. When you watch this video, if you haven't seen it, you're going to cry. Even if you have seen it, you're going to cry. Let me tell you about Kayla. This video is about WFG. Number one thing about it when I watch it, I want you to know, she has MS. And so when she runs, she can't feel her legs. But she knows immediately when she stops moving her legs at the end of the race, all of the accumulated pain of the race floods her legs in that instant. Can you imagine knowingly run a race that you know at the very end is going to be excruciating pain? Pretty, pretty amazing, huh? She starts the race knowing it. Just like I've been telling you, you need to start the WFG race knowing it. Number two thing is this, when she runs, she has a coach. And when she finishes running, you'll see it, she falls into his arms every time and says, help me, help me, help me, because she's out of control and excruciating pain. She needs a coach. And her coach, let me tell you what he does, you'll, she'll talk about what he does. He pushes me just enough. Does that sound like WFG? Yeah. He holds me accountable. Okay? And there's this beautiful relationship between a coach, a mentor, and the player. He's there to help her, love her, care about her, and believe in her. The most precious thing you'll ever do in WFG is what I have with Juan, what I have with Alfonso, what I have with Mark, what I have with G, what I have with JR, and their wives, <coughs> is that I'm a little bit of a coach in their life. And I love watching them win. I love watching them cross the finish line. It's why I work 18, 19 hour days still. I love this. I don't love all the money anymore. I have a lot of it. I still like it, but I don't love it. What I love is this right here. The coaching, the mentoring, the being there, the helping, the caring, the watching them be this next version of them, watching them cross the finish lines, watching them go through the pain and being proud of them when they do it. See, you don't have to be a, 
a f unbelievable speaker or $25 million wide. You know what you have to be to be a leader? Listen, all of you right now could be a leader. This man right here with the white hair, this Nick Lancaster guy, doesn't matter who. You can be a leader. And here's instantly how you lead people. You ready? I'm going to write a book on this. You ready? Love me, care about me, believe in me, help me. If that's where your heart comes from, you can lead me. You don't have to be dynamic. You don't have to be successful. i got to believe you love me, care about me that you're gonna help me, that you believe in me. If you have that, you can lead me. It can be quiet, it can be personal. My upline in this business that really recruited me, basically recruited one person his whole career for about 20 years, me. And I turned out pretty good, okay? His name's Steve Adams, okay? Basically me, a couple other guys, but basically me. Because he loves me, he believes in me, he cares about me, and he helped me. So I want you to watch this relationship, watch her run the race, and the ending is going to blow you away. But this is, you're the coach, they're the player. You're also the player too. Watch the beautiful relationship you could be having with any given person you recruit. This is WFG. Go ahead guys, if you'll play that video.